What's up, y'all? Happy Black History Month. And don't worry about what's back there, okay? Mind your business. Y'all act like I ain't never met a black person before. We keep our tree up until whenever, so there you go. But in today's video, we're gonna be discussing ways to get better audio out of your Sony a7S III. And for the most part, this can't be applied to any camera, but we're talking about the a7S III in specific today because I've heard some of y'all audio. And most of y'all should be as hot as camel's badge. So we're trying to make sure that we get you all with some correct settings so that way you don't gotta worry about that no more. Now we're gonna be looking at the audio. We're gonna be looking at ways to tweak the audio on three different type of audio setups, right? So one, if you have like a wireless live setup, something like a DJI mic or Roll Riders Go. They're gonna look at one if you had like a Deity D4 Pro, which you actually still have control of the audio itself or the levels of the audio through the microphone itself. And then we'll look at something with the K3M adapter. We're gonna look at three different settings that you wanna make sure that you have set for when you're doing audio setups for your A7S III. And before we get started, for all my OGs in the building, man, y'all know the drill, man. Go ahead and give me that thumbs up because you already know I'm gonna be dropping some knowledge for y'all. Let's get into the video. All right, so the first audio device we're gonna be setting up the audio for is something like a DJI mic, or hell, we even say a World Riders Go 2. Now for this here, what you wanna do is you actually wanna have all your audio, pretty much any audio gain adjustment, you wanna actually come in through the unit itself versus the camera, because the camera preamps are usually pretty hot, and you don't want that interference your audio, right? So typically, what you wanna do is, you wanna go down, now I have mine set up in a quick menu, so what you wanna make sure is that your audio is actually set to one. That way you know for a fact that you're not getting any extra sounds that's coming from this and all the audio is essentially being controlled through here. Now you can't set it to zero because then essentially as you see, you get no audio. But you set it to one, the lowest that it's possible. And then you see like the way I have my audio set up, I'm hitting a consistent level of around negative 12 dB, which is essentially like clean, perfect audio as you're being able to hear now. The way that looks is just so you all can see my exact settings for the DJI mic. You, you're going to you're gonna want to go to receiver gain. Make sure that's at plus, plus 12B. Transmitter gain, you're going to leave that exactly where it said at 0 dB. So that way you're only controlling the audio of the actual little unit itself. And then the thing that you pay all this money for, do all the extra hard work of controlling your audio. Now let's move on to something like a shotgun mic. Now with something like this, it's the same principle, right? Again, if you have a mic that you're able, any type of mic in which you're able to control audio through the mic itself, you wanna use the actual knob itself to control your audio. See what I'm saying? Like, and then when you sit there going to camera, again, checking your DB levels, I'm gonna go back to audio. And right now we're actually pretty low and we are at a level five on a mic. So once we turn it now, granted I am talking behind it, right? So let's go ahead and just face the camera towards me, flip the screen out. We're saying that we're almost close to the level we wanna be at, but again, we're not controlling it through the camera. We're gonna keep adjusting the dial. Mic check, 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 and there we go. Now, granted, I do have this thing turned all the way to like level 10, but I'm kind of like more so of a far distance away from the mic. But nonetheless, again, all the audio is being controlled by this mic here. So again, anything which you can control the gain of the actual audio device itself, you wanna do all your changes through that. Now let's move on to something like if you had a, something like a little bit more robust, like a K3M adapter. Now with something like the K3M adapter, things are a little bit different now, as you all can see. The mic itself, you can't actually access it because you get this here. That's because on something like the K3M adapter, all of your audio changes can have to be made to the, the unit itself. Now, as you all can see, I'm talking away from the mic, but as you all can see, like it's, you know, it's actually pretty up there. And that's because like you're looking at this top level. So we have two, two rows of audio. You got channel one and channel two, essentially left and right, right? And the way we have that set up is, it's like so. Now these are audio controls that I have set on my actual unit itself. So real quick, just kind of give you all some ideas of what this stuff actually mean. Let's kind of go through it real quick. So there's actually two ways to look at attenuate. Um, that's what ATT stands for, right? Not like the cell phone company. But let's say you had like a like a car, like a car stereo or something like that. This is a design to actually mute your car stereo and still and still have it where you can make a call, right? So essentially, if you have a call, if you have a car with a Bluetooth stereo, you you know you're using attenuate to actually answer that call and mute your stereo. Now, in something like this here, in something like a K3M adapter, what it does is kind of just manage your levels to make sure that you don't like kind of get distortion in your audio um, or kind of have like some weird, weird frequencies. So that's the way to look at that. And you have different levels in which you can set that at. And then you actually have line, mic, and then uh, phantom power. So again, depending if you plug, if you are plugging into something like a stereo or something like that, then you would want to use line level. But if you have somebody go directly from a microphone, mic level, and if they don't need phantom power, then you obviously click that off. Now, we have, you have auto and then you have manual. Now for me, typically what I do is I'll leave one channel set for auto. So that way, if um, you know, I'll let the this $600 unit do all the process of forming that, that way I don't have to worry about it. And then we have another one where um, you have it set for manual. 
Uh, so that way I can dial in these knobs myself to kind of make sure I'm in a lower level. And you also have low, and I forgot to mention, you also have low cut. Uh, that's to kind of get rid of any noise, like, you know, let's say like a low humming air conditioner and stuff like that. You know, that's what that would be used for. And that'll do it, man. Appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure y'all follow me everywhere. IG at Brooks Media. That's Brooks Media with two S's. If you want to add the S, you ain't spelling it right. Deuces.